My name is Alexander Sergeyanka. I'm a software engineer and a passionate speaker. I enjoy getting into details of reactive, distributed and high-loaded systems. I'm also particularly excited about domain-driven design, asynchronicity and reactive programming. In this series I'll try to wrap my head around different aspects of modern technologies. Hope that you will get excited too. Here we go! What is a feature store? Machine learning does not operate solely based on models. To make predictions you also need features. According to Wikipedia, a feature is an individual measurable property or characteristic of a phenomenon. But this definition may seem confusing and needs to be clarified. In simple terms, a feature is a descriptive attribute that's relevant to predicting how something will behave with the world. Features are usually numeric and can be conveniently described by a feature vector. In other words, a feature is a set of attributes that forms an input vector for a model. For example, the feature may be produced from a row of CSV file. But what is a feature in terms of layperson? As an example, your credit history is apparently relevant to predicting which loan will be approved for you next time while your eye color is not. That's why any aggregates that derive from your credit history are of interest in machine learning models. In this context, the feature can be described as a sum of all monthly payments made during the last year. It will be just a simple numeric feature. AI models need a lot of features to train and the more data you have, the better prediction you obtain. Features are not come from nowhere. Source data have to be pulled from some storage, then features need to be computed and saved in a persistent place. That's why we have come up to feature engineering. Feature engineering means transforming raw data into a feature vector. Usually this process takes a significant amount of time. For the most part, machine learning models can be trained correctly only if there are pre-computed feature datasets are available. Usually these datasets are accessed as files in a file system or from the feature store. The feature store is a place where the features are stored and organized for the explicit purpose of being used to either train models by data engineers or data scientists or make predictions by applications that utilize models. In other words, the feature store is a data management system that manages and serves features to machine learning models. The features may be computed or updated based on the data that originates from different data sources. In a nutshell, the feature store mostly acts as a central data hub for model training and operating. The feature store also manages the discovery, documentation and reuse of features. It provides a high-throughput API for creating training data and retrieving features for batch predictions and also a low-latency API to provide features for online predictions. By the way, the feature store coordinates the consistency between feature computations for both APIs. A clear illustration here can be a recommendation engine. Imagine that you're using a mobile application to search for goods in an online store. The application may know some context about your personality, which is stored somewhere at the backend. This context can be used as a data set to compute features. Suppose that you're searching for a laptop and type its model into the search bar. The search request may also retrieve some pre-computed features based on your profile ID from the feature store. These features can be used to personalize search results and make them more attractive for you. For example, to put laptops with your favorite OS at the top of the list. An online feature store API would be involved in such a use case. So, how can you benefit from the feature store? Well, it gives you consistent feature engineering for both training and serving. It supports feature reuse. It also supports both online and batch APIs. And it gives you security and governance. 
Feature stores are diverse in many types and subtypes. Some stores come up with integrated real-time databases, while others just provide online and batch interfaces that may be implemented by any appropriate solution. Some feature stores are also tightly coupled with specific data warehouses. The most popular feature stores on the market are Feast, Featureform, Resgo, Snowflake, Hubsworks, Cascada and others. But uh, how to integrate the feature store in your IT landscape? From the bird's eye, each business platform may be split into two main data layers. The first one is operational data that fits your business needs at the moment. The second one is analytical data or data lake that represents long-term storage for business data used to optimize and enhance business processes in general. There are also data processing pipelines between the two that are usually called ETL, which stands for Extract, Transform, Load. And all together is a basic landscape where the ML and feature store originate. A good option to start with ML is to create feature pipelines that will serve as validate, aggregate, transform processes to establish the feature layer using the analytical data as a data source. Features computed by feature pipelines are of interest to both operational and analytical layers. The operational layer needs online features to use them in real time and batch, while the analytical layer should store training datasets to train new AI models and to update the existing ones. And here is a feature store takes to the stage. It acts as an abstraction that covers both all operational and analytical use cases. I enjoy learning by example, thus I encourage you to address a concrete feature store implementation. Let's look at Feast. The name Feast is combined with the words feature and store. Feast is open source and it is the fastest path to use analytic data for model training and online inference as per the official website. Feast can serve features to data to models from a low latency online store for real time prediction or from an offline store for batch scoring or model training. Both storages are not shipped with Feast and should be provided externally. Let's look at Feast architecture. Feast doesn't cover the tasks of feature engineering. Any computations should be done by external processes that may be implemented using SQL or Apache Spark pipelines. These processes are usually lie in the area of data engineering. As mentioned before, FIS supposes that both offline and online stores are provided as external implementations. It's obvious that an online store should be a fast, maybe key-value-based storage that ensures low latency reads like Apache Cassandra. Offline in its store should be high-throughput both reads and writes storage that ensures high operational reads and relatively average latencies. As it comes from this schema, calculated features are stored in offline storage. But why not online? I get that the reason is that not all features are subjected to be used in real-time models and therefore there is no need to store them in online storage. Features that are saved at offline storage may be propagated to the online storage using the Feast Materialize command. But be careful, since the default materialize feature is implemented as a Python function and may be extremely slow when materializing high volumes of features. Consider using your implementation here, for example using Apache Spark. Offline store is also used for producing training datasets and thus can be used in model training processes by retrieving a training dataset and training a model. Feast registry is an object store like GCS or S3 registry used to persist features definition that are registered with the feature store. Systems can discover feature data by interacting with the registry through the SDK. In a nutshell, Feast 
as a feature store implementation covers a wide variety of AI model use cases in any landscape. Feature Store is a new key piece of infrastructure for machine learning that is now gradually emerging in modern IT landscapes. It enables you to centralize your features for ML and provides a solid foundation for further feature engineering and model serving. It was Alexander Sergienko. I hope that a feature store were interesting for you. Give a like to this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Goodbye for now.